gobbling things up, leaving it back to Michelle Boldick, whose low drive has stopped. And now we'll have Steve Dykstra getting into a pretty good duker with Hector Marini. Both are in a hold. Dykstra tries to get a left going. Pretty good dance so far, man. Was it a fox trot out there? <laughs> Where Steve? Steve's trying to back off a little bit, but Marini is holding on to him. Uh, you can see, look at uh, uh, Marini just. Uh, there we go. Here goes Steve. Oh, Watch yeah. Away now. He just wanted to get away. Uh, Steve, a big, strong boy, and Marini just as tall. Look at Marini just holding on right now. There's Dykstra with the right. Marini goes with it upper. Whoa, Marini. And Dykstra combines with another right as they're in the far hammer corner, hanging on to each other. Noah calls for the linesman to come in to break them up, but they still want to go against each other. Who needs Macho Camacho? <laughs> we got Steve Dykstra out there. <laughs> well, both of them let it fly here in the second period where Mariners have a 4-1 lead. Maybe that's a spark that the Amherst need. I'll tell you, the main Mariners were getting away with uh, murder out there in front of the net. Uh, you know, they're standing in front of the net. Here it goes Marini just uh, screening Trom like uh, Dykstra trying to move him out in front, give him a little bit of a cross check. Marini comes back and I watch Marini take a poke right at Dykstra right there. Dykstra was a clean check, but Marini should get an extra two minutes for starting the whole uh, incident right there where he just turned around and took a pop shot at uh, Steve Dykstra, but uh, you know, we mentioned earlier that they need a little spark. Maybe that's a spark that the Emmerichs need. There's Hector Marini. Hard to believe that he was an all-star in the National Hockey League with the New York 